Welcome back to Lost Digit. Today we're going to go over a magnetic spring sensor. Now all you need for this is really a magnet, so I'm using some headphones, some jumper wires, an Arduino, USB cable, and the magnetic spring sensor. So the way this works is it has a small, what they call a magnetic spring, but it's really just two plates of metal on the right. And it connects to some resistors and then an ADC, which is an analog to digital converter and a potentiometer. So you can make the sensing more or less sensitive. The way you connect this is it has an analog out, has a ground, a five volt voltage input, and then a digital out on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is connect the jumper wires. We're gonna put the analog zero to the analog zero of the Arduino, but it can be to any analog input. And then we'll put the digital zero to input pin five, digital five, and then the voltage and the ground to five volts and ground. So we'll start here with the analog in zero, so A0 on the Arduino. And then we'll put the digital out on pin five. Next, we'll take, as you can see here, the plus and the ground and put those respectively into the ground and the five volts on the Arduino. So the way this is going to work is I have my headphones and I hope to be able to sense the magnetic field from the headphone driver. So if we go over to the GitHub, which is linked below, you can click on magnetic spring and see the Arduino code there and feel free to use it in your projects. So what we do first is we declare the variables for the inputs. So we have A0 and 5 for the analog and the digital input. And we have two variables to store the readings. And the first thing we have to do is, as always, set up the Arduino. So this runs on setup when you plug it in. And we'll start the serial output to 9600 baud rate, and then we'll set the two inputs as inputs because they are not outputs. They are inputs to the Arduino from the sensor. The next thing we'll do is read the analog and digital readings from those pins. We'll delay 100 milliseconds so that we read 10 times per second. And then we'll just check if it's high. We can say that a magnet is detected, else there's no magnet detected. And we'll also output the analog reading just for curiosity. So if now we go to the back to the Arduino and we upload the code. Once it's successful, it compiles and uploads, we open up the serial monitor. So you can see here it's just printing no magnet detected and then the analog value. And something interesting about this sensor is that a high voltage, so a high analog value, actually means there's nothing detected. So it's kind of reversed. So once you get close to the magnet, the driver of the headphones, you can see that a magnetic field is picked up. Now this can be used for a lot of different things. You could, for instance, mount it somewhere like a door and put a magnet on the door. So an interesting way to have you know, an alarm system. Or you could also tweak the potentiometer to make it more or less sensitive. So now you can see it's a little less sensitive, so I have to get closer for it to detect. And then in the opposite, you can make it more sensitive so that it's detected from further away, so you could detect magnetic fields easier. So that's the magnetic spring sensor. Uh, let me know in the comments below some cool use cases or interesting projects you had where you use this. If you like this video and want to see more of them, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.